Kentucky's Bright Light of the Week is sponsored by your Giving Your Best Partners. And welcome back everyone. So many of you are telling me about great things you see people doing in our community to help in this crisis. People like Tyler Vining and Lee Abel who wanted to pitch in and help others. So they turned to a good friend of the Jenny show. You might know who it is. Take Hi Jenny, it's Signature Mike. You know, in these trying times, there are a lot of people who are jumping in and they're assisting medical workers by making masks, assisting with getting gloves, helping some of the elderly people make masks. Um, and it really warms my heart when young people are getting involved, some young adults. Some of your viewers, Leah and Tyler, have reached out to me and they are making masks and they were hand sewing these. And they know that I have a workroom at my home, a sewing workroom, and they ask if I could assist them in sewing masks that they are going to give you um, so that you can reach out to your viewers and supply. Here it's open so you can insert a filter so that's the side that you'll wear upwards and all you do is just attach it on and fix it how you like it and there's that. Super easy and it looks really good and it keeps you protected. So they're going to pass off some masks to me in which I'm going to sew for them and they are going to pass on to you and your viewers. Some of you are still trying to get masks right now, and many of you are making them and want to get them to people who need them. I can help. Contact me via email, jmontgomery at wjbf.com, jmontgomery at wjbf.com. Let's find a way to get everyone covered. We can do this. And that brings me to this week's bright light of the week, Sweet Mary from Grovetown, who responded to the call for help last week on this show and sewed 50 masks for our Jenny viewers. Mary, you are amazing and we appreciate you. Email me or go to my Facebook page and let me know who your bright light is. And now we'll look at some of the positive stories coming out of the coronavirus pandemic. We've seen some of these here, but take a look at what neighbors in one Chicago suburb did for a World War II vet. They didn't want his birthday to pass without some kind of celebration, so they honored John Ulinski with a procession that included police cars, fire trucks, and dozens of cars carrying signs. Neighbors also decorated Ulinski's yard with American flags. He watched from outside his home, calling it unbelievable. A teenager in Virginia learning to fly decided to turn his weekly lessons into a relief mission for rural hospitals. 16-year-old T.J. Kim and his family came up with Operation SOS, or Supplies Over Skies. He's delivered thousands of gloves, shoe covers, non-surgical masks, and hand sanitizer to small hospitals on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic. They call him their first miracle patient. Doctors, nurses, and staff at Central Arkansas Veterans Healthcare System lined the hallways and cheered as David Williams was discharged. He was the hospital's first COVID-19 long-term ventilator patient to recover. He's now getting better at home okay. with family. Finally, what's there to do while waiting out the COVID-19 pandemic at home? One father-daughter duo in Tucson starting their own online dance party. Bella and Charles Luna are teaching classes online every Saturday. They say the classes are for beginners or advanced levels, and it's all about helping others. This is good news too. Amazon hiring more workers to keep up with customer demand. The online retail giant already added 100,000 employees for its distribution centers. Now Amazon says it wants to add another 75,000 full and part-time jobs. The company is looking to fill positions for delivery, warehouse, and shoppers. Amazon also increased minimum pay on jobs by $2 an hour through April. If you're interested, just go to their website, Amazon.com slash jobs now and remember check on your neighbors everyone kindness will go a long way stay home as much as you can observe the six foot rule and the face covering recommendation as we navigate this uncertain time remember we are in it together I'll see you again right here for News Channel 6 at 4 have a good afternoon